having learnt about the relationship between different angles when a set of parallel lines is cut by a transversal let us now understand what a triangle is and what are its types now triangle is a figure that is bounded by three straight lines any figure bounded by three straight lines can be taken as a triangle here as you see ABC is a triangle right it is formed by three straight lines right this is the first straight line second straight line and the third straight line okay so a figure bounded by three straight lines is called a triangle now any triangle will have three sides obvious right there will be three sides and three angles what are the three sides here AB can be taken as the first side BC is the second side and AC is the third side and likewise there will be three angles angle BAC angle ABC and angle ACB all right so let's give some names to each of these sides and each of the angles here for example let's say the side BC is equal to A the length of the side BC is A the length of the side AC is B and the length of the side AB is equal to C here all right so we can simply say side A which is the length of the side side B and side C likewise there are three angles right this can be simply called as angle A angle B and angle C here okay now the very first point that we need to understand here is the sum of the interior angles in any triangle the sum of all the three angles angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degrees right so A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees right sum of all the three angles in a triangle will always be equal to 180 degrees now the second point here is with respect to the sides of uh, a triangle right the point is the sum of any two sides of a triangle will always be greater than the third side you take any two sides of any type of triangle the sum of those two sides will be larger than the third side for example here a plus b will be greater than c right length a plus length b will be greater than c likewise b plus c will be greater than a and a plus c will be greater than b so the point is sum of the two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side so we can say a plus b greater than c and b plus c greater than a and a plus c greater than b right sum of the two sides is always greater than the third side and in a similar way the difference of the two sides is always lesser than the third side if you take the difference of any two sides of a triangle it will be lesser than the third side so we can say a difference b will be less than c b difference c will be less than a and a difference c less than b right b difference c is b minus c or c minus b will be less than the third side likewise a minus b or b minus a the positive value there will be lesser than the third side c and a difference c which can be a minus c or c minus a depending on what is greater there the difference will be less than b so the point here is sum of two sides is always larger than the third side and the difference of two sides is smaller than the third side right lesser than the third side now next comes the type of triangle right there can be different types of triangle based on you know the relationship between angles or based on the sides here so let's look at what are the different types of triangle now based on angles there are three types of triangle right based on angles if you have to classify we can say there are three triangles the first one is a right angled triangle right a right angle triangle now what is a right angle triangle we all know that right angle is 90 degrees equal to 90 degrees so a right angle triangle is the one which has got one of its angle as 90 degrees right so that's a special case if one of the angles is 90 degrees then it is called a right angle triangle remember there can be only one angle that is equal to 90 degrees a triangle cannot have two angles that are 90 degrees because sum of the two angles is 180 degrees yes or no sum of the two angles is 180 degrees so if one of the angles is 90 and if you say even the second angle is 90 then third angle will become zero but angle here cannot be zero right so only one of the angles is 90 degrees a triangle is right angle triangle then uh, an acute angle triangle what is an acute angle triangle we know that an acute angle is less than 90 degrees angle less than 90 degrees is an acute angle so if a triangle has got all the three angles less than 90 degrees then it is called an acute angle triangle and the third one here is obtuse angle triangle right again from the definition of obtuse angle right what is an obtuse angle angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees so if one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees then 
that triangle is known as an obtuse angle triangle right so these are the class this is the classification of triangle based on the angles here right then there is another classification based on the sides so let's look at that classification now based on the sides of the triangle right the first one here is a uh, scalene triangle right what is a scalene triangle a triangle where all the three sides are different right the length of uh, all the three sides are different a is different from b is different from c such a triangle is called a scalene triangle all the three sides are different scalene triangle then we have an isosceles triangle right what is an isosceles triangle the one where two sides are equal right in a triangle if any of the two sides are equal then that can be called as an isosceles triangle for example if a is equal to b or b is equal to c or c is equal to a in all these three cases the triangle becomes an isosceles triangle so the two sides are equal or the two angles are equal right it is obvious that when two of the sides are equal the opposite angles will also be equal right so isosceles triangle is the one where i i mean where the two sides are equal or the two opposite angles are equal right likewise in scalene triangle when we say that all the three sides are different it is obvious that all the three angles would be equal right it is not possible that two of the angles are equal but still the triangle is a scalene triangle right if two of the angles are equal means the two opposite sides are equal and if two opposite sides are equal the triangle becomes an isosceles triangle right and the last one here is an equilateral triangle what is an equilateral triangle the one which has got all the three sides equal a is equal to b is equal to c such a triangle is called an equilateral triangle and it's obvious that if the three sides are equal then the three angles would also be equal so in an equilateral triangle we can say all the three sides are equal or all the three angles are equal isosceles triangle any two sides are equal or any two angles are equal right so if two sides are equal the opposite angles would be equal okay and scalene triangle is the one where all the three sides are different or all the three angles are different and then it's obvious that if the triangle is equilateral we know all three angles are equal sum of the three angles is 180 degrees so uh, what will be each of the angles is 60 degrees because 60 plus 60 plus 60 makes it 180 degrees so in an equilateral triangle each of the angle will be equal to 60 degrees right so that's about the classification of a uh, triangle based on uh, the angles and sides there okay then there can be special cases here for example a right angled isosceles triangle what is meant by a right angled isosceles triangle a right angled triangle is the one where one of the angles is 90 degrees right and isosceles triangle is the one where the two sides are equal any two sides are equal so a right angled isosceles triangle will have one angle as 90 degrees and the two sides which include that angle of 90 degrees will also be equal so that's like a special case here right angled isosceles triangle okay then generally right angled scalene triangle so three sides would be different but one of the angles is 90 degrees and so on so that's about the classification here now next comes another important point which is about exterior angle see when any one of the sides of this triangle is produced we get an exterior angle for example look at the side bc what is the angle here angle c right this is c angle c let us say the interior angle but if the side bc is produced what do we get let's say if the side bc is produced up to a particular point b right or it is simply produced then we find that there is also an exterior angle that is formed let's say this is c dash okay the vertex here is c the point is c interior angle generally referred as angle c but the exterior angle let's say it is called c dash now the point to be noted here is that this angle c dash will be equal to the sum of the other two angles what are the other two angles a and b here all right so there are three angles three interior angles angle b angle c and angle a right when any of the sides are produced we we get an exterior angle and that exterior angle will be equal to the sum of the other two interior angles and it's very very easy to understand so the point which i'm trying to make here is c dash will be equal to a plus b the angle c dash will be equal to a plus b how do we prove this it's very simple a plus b plus c equals to 180 degrees all right now if you look at c plus c dash what is c plus c dash angle c and angle c dash that is the interior angle and the exterior angle are making a straight line which means c plus c dash is equal to 180 degrees c plus c dash is 180 c plus c dash is equal to 180 degrees now if you take these two equations what do we get a plus b plus c equals to c plus c dash c and c gets cancelled we can say that c dash will be equal to a plus b and same is the case with the other two vertices as well right if the sides are produced let's say the exterior angle a dash will be equal to angle b plus angle c and the exterior angle b dash will be equal to angle a 
plus angle C. So this is another important point which you need to keep in mind that an exterior angle at any one of the points of a triangle will be equal to the sum of the other two interior angles here. So that's about triangle, the various types of triangles based on uh, angles and the sides here and a few of its properties.